Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Talk Art. And today we are going to talk about another beautiful Indian folk art form called Manjusha art. So what is basically Manjusha art? It's an Indian folk art form from Anga Pradesh most popularly and currently known as Bhagalpur, which is a city in Bihar. Manjusa is a Sanskrit word meaning box and manjusas are basically temple shaped boxes made of bamboo or jute straw. They are covered with paper and these paper are basically adorned with colorful bright paintings depicting a folklore of Bihula and Bisahari. So Bihula basically was the protagonist of this age old tale and she saved her husband's life from the wrath of snake goddess Bisahari. So every year Bisahari Puja or festival is celebrated in Bhagalpur and Champanagar with great enthusiasm and devotion and women worship both Bihula and Bisahari and one can see such colorful manjushas all around. Ever since, it has been an essential cultural heritage of Ang, and as the art gets more and more recognition, it has encouraged the artists to promote this art form and not just limit their creativity to the festival, but widely and professionally practice it on various surfaces like paper, canvas, or make products like handbags, keychains, earrings, etc., all inspired by this folk art form. Now, Manjusha art is believed to be the first pictorial art forms in the world. If you notice, there are mainly three colors used in this folk art form, pink, green and yellow. Green is used to sketch the outline and yellow and pink play an important role in filling the background or motifs and create the magic of bright and beauty, beautiful art. Now, borders are one of the most important element of Manjusha art and every painting must have one. In fact, all the border designs have hidden meanings and depict the culture in many ways. For instance, if you look at different border designs, just like this one, which is a leaf-like pattern, it actually represents Belpatra which is of huge importance in Hindu tradition as it is used to worship Lord Shiva. Now, this Leheria design represents river waves, which symbolizes the ups and downs in the journey of human life. Now, if we move further and look at the motives, just like human figures, they are always drawn in a shape of English letter X. Most of the paintings tell the story of the snake goddess Bishahari and that is why snake motifs are commonly used in the art and probably that's why people also refer to it as snake art. Other motifs include shivalinga, sun, moon, fish, turtle, elephant, lotus, etc. Often, people confuse it with Madhubani art which is also a folk art for, uh, form from Bihar. Maybe because the, both the folk art forms are based on line art and they certainly belong to the same state in India that is Bihar. But if you notice carefully the lines in Manjusha, they are green unlike in Madhubani that uses black as outline. Also, the entire art form of Manjusha is based on a particular fo folklore and limitations of three bright colors makes it instantly no noticeable. So I'm sure after watching this video, you can easily spot a Manjusha art. And don't forget to share this amazing folk art with others. And do give a thumbs up or like this video if you are also a folk art fan just like me. Till then, take good care of yourselves and I will come up with more interesting videos in future. Bye. See you again very soon.